Okay, this video is from Air Coops on the full shutdown of your coach. So there's a special way to do it so you don't lose your firmware in your inverter. Your firmware in your inverter. So go ahead, Eric, I'll get close and we can see what you're doing. Before turning off the battery button, you want to en enable, de we might have to disable your inverter. You want to wait for the white lines to disappear. Then you can shut your battery button off. And why is that important? If it doesn't, if you don't do it that way, the Firefly can shut down quicker than the inverter, and then the inverter is gonna to try to stay on and use all its memory power up, which will lose its firmware. Perfect. So now we're now let's say we're gonna start. Now what do we do if we're gonna start it again? And then you just start the battery, push the battery button back on, and then everything should automatically go back to normal. And you'll see there's an able, as you are talking about the white lines. So DC power through the inverter to breaker. So that simple method ensures that you don't lose your firmware for your inverter, which we've learned is a pretty painful process yes. to redo. Thanks, Eric.